The Word of God is more than just a book. It nourishes us like bread and grows within us like a seed. It's the light to our path on the darkest day and a mirror that shows us who we really are. God's Word is a hammer that can break open the hardest heart, a sword that can divide between bone and marrow, spirit and soul, and it's the foundation of an unshakable life. Discover the power and beauty of God's Word. Abide. Welcome to our prayer, fasting, and consecration day four. Grabe. Yeah. So excited for our day four because we will be praying for our campuses. Di ba, Kuya Lawrence? Yes, that's right, Ate April. And if you are one of our world changers out there, don't forget to comment down below, world changer. Yes, comment na kayo dyan, mga world changers. And also, why don't you share our live stream no para naman mapanood pa to ng mga uh, young people. Yes, that's right at April. And if you are married or may family na kayo, kung meron kayong mga young ones there, sama niyan dito sa live natin because we will be praying for you. Kaya tag your friends, yung workmate mo na may pamilya na, no, kung meron siyang sudyanteng anak, this is for them because we will be praying for all of you guys. Yes, because we really put a high premium in campus ministry. That's why we have Every Nation Campus. And just to give you a quick update, no, uh, last year, we still continue to disciple our students despite what's happening. And you know what? 5,000 student leaders were empowered to preach the gospel in our Every Nation Campus Leaders Conference that was held last September. Yes, you know what, Aunt April? It doesn't stop there. God is truly moving in and through us. Alam mo ba na yes. outreach event natin reach 7,000 students who heard the love of God through our God's Not Dead National Campus Outreach. Ayan, yung isa ka doon. Yes. Kaway-kaway sa inyong lahat. And hindi lang yun, Kuya Larens. We also have now 1,064 new Real Life Scholars nationwide na meron bagong hope and chance at a better life. And kagaya nga ng sinabi ko kanina that we put high premium in our campus ministry or in the next generation. That's why we also partner with some of the teachers. That's why last year we conducted multiple uh, teachers retreat in multiple campuses. That's right. And syempre, hindi natapos dyan, Ate April. We have our first ever on-site youth service yes. here in Quezon Avenue. Grabe lang talaga. And we believe that God will bless us more event to go on-site. Yes, so we are really looking forward that this year will be a year na, alam mo yun, face-to-face na tayo, sama-sama na tayo mag-worship uh, kay God. But before we worship God today in our prayer meeting, let me pray for all of us. Lord, thank you God for it tonight. Thank you God for uh, this opportunity, Lord God, that as a congregation, we were able to consecrate, Lord God. We were able to fast, Lord God. And Lord, I pray that as we enter your throne, Lord God, as we um, begin to worship you today, Lord God, I pray that we will not be after our prayer requests, we will not be after our answered prayers, Lord God, but we will be more after for your presence, Lord God, yung uh, yung sa'yo kami nakapokus, Panginoon, today, Lord God. And as we uh, pray for our students today, Lord God, I pray that you open our hearts, Lord God. Um, give us, Lord, the vision, Lord God, on who to pray for, Lord God. And I pray that you are the one who will, uh, my experience I mean, all throughout this uh, prayer meeting, Lord God. We thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Come on, church. Let's worship God together.
Oh, 
your glory we want all of you on our knees we're falling we will see you move let your kingdom come we will see you move come on church once again oh we will see you move we will see your glory we want all of you on our knees we're falling we will see you move let your kingdom come let your will be done That's our declaration that and request that you lead on us this week of prayer and fasting and consecrating. Father, we're asking for revelation. Well, we are not just basing this on the breakthroughs that we will receive. We will we are not basing this on the answered prayers, but we will base this because you are the God, God who is faithful. God who is great, God who loves us, God who cares for us. We are secured and confident in this year 2022 because of your character. Salamat Panginoon for you are allowed us Lord to experience a relationship with you. In this day four of prayer and fasting, we will be praying for the next generation, for the campuses. Lord, you have called us, Lord, in a unique calling, Lord, to reach out and preach the gospel to the next generation. That's why to, tonight, Father, birth a burden in us, Lord, a fresh burden in us, Lord, that we will see the value on why we must leave a legacy, on why we must pass the baton, or pass an audacious faith to the young people today. And, to, and tonight, Father, we declare, Lord, that the next generation, are yours, Father. Salamat, Panginoon. Pinupuri ka namin sinasamba sa bawat generation na nandito, mapa older generation, the current generation, the next generation. We praise you and glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jas, for, for leading us in worship. One of our next generation then. So tonight, yes, Paul, we will be praying for the campus, for the young people out there, for the next generation. So again, we invite you to uh, really tag them in the comment section. Or kung kasama nyo sila ngayon sa bahay, invite nyo sila, nasamahan tayo madood to pray. And later, we will be praying for them. We will be asking you to lay your hands on them as well. So tonight, as we... Before we're going to pray for our prayer points, I just want to share a quick message to all of us. And uh, bago yon, I want to ask this question. What's the most significant uh, trait, uh, thing, or character that you inherited from your parents or from your grandparents? Kumbaga, sa madaling salita, ano po yung minana nyo sa kanila? Good looks po ba? Uh, recipe po ba ng pinakatatago ng pamilya nyo na kare-kare ba yan or talent ba yan magaling po ba kumanta ang family nyo go ahead comment that in our comment section because as we talk about that as we talk about inheritance syempre po uh, para sa mga magulang po natin I'm sure that we want to leave something significant or in terms of wealth, gusto po natin eh, insured po, eh, secured yung mga magiging anak po natin. That's why we have this, what we call educational plan, life insurance, kasi gusto rin po natin secure yung future nila. right? And also, not just talking about tangible things, even in this, uh, yung physic, uh, physical traits, di ba, yung looks po, ako nga po medyo frustrated. No? Sa dami-daming mamanahin, yung height pa, na kidding aside, I love my parents. I love my mom dahil uh, uh, siya po yung binigay ni Lord sa akin, di ba? And also, 
sabi ni ano, ganda, dahil yung family ko po on the mother's side are musicians, I, I believe no, sama ho, medyo na-inherit ko naman yung galing ko man ta rin ng mother ko. And yung lola ko po is a pianist. And okay, hindi ako makabasa. Yan, no? Ano po ba yung minana niya from your parents? Wait lang ha. Being relational si Pastor Junko. And I believe Pastor Junko is very approachable. You know? And also ito si Jello daw. Minana mo. <laughs> Malaking noo. Hindi eh, naman. Parang naman sakto lang yung noo mo brother. At syempre pero guapings yan. I believe naman kaya naman napili ka ni Ate Maita natin dyan. So as we continue. We are praying for the campus because this is who we are as a church. That's why we have our campus ministry, Every Nation Campus. Because we believe that the future leaders of this nation will be the young people that we have today. Sila po yung magiging future parents. They will build their own family one day. Yes, alam ko po sa mga magulang natin. Ngayon, isipin nyo pa lang na magkakapamilya na one day, na iiyak na po kayo, na, na, mayroon na pong sentiments that knowing that one day they will leave you because they will leave their, they will build their own families. And also, we believe that they will be the future leaders of this nation, businessmen, some, uh, or who knows, in the, in, they will be working in our, in our government. And that's our prayer and desire, that this Young people today will be mauled, will be uh, will be equipped and empowered in the ways of the Lord. That they will be godly leaders. They will be godly parents. Yung po yung desire natin. That's, that's why as young as they are, gusto po natin uh, maintindihan nila na si Jesus po ay uh, uh, inangkin na po sila, inadapt na po sila. Right? That the next generation are for Jesus. And today, ako rin as... I myself was discipled by uh, by a campus missionary na uh, way back sa uh, ano ba ilang years na ba 10 years na rin po ata that uh, I was in University of the East when uh, someone approached me na sabi uh, tutulungan daw ako sa classes ko pero alam ko naman na taga church yon alam ko may may uh, may bribe na kasama yon na pag tinulungan niya ako nilibre niya ako ng pagkain eh dadali niya ako sa church Ako naman, uh, umaatid-atid naman ako and open naman ako sa mga ganong klaseng ideas. Not knowing that he is equipping me already and uh, planting the seeds on me already. And that's the moment then, estudyante rin ako na receive ko yung burden and calling to also do the same to the next generation after me. And that's why today along with the other campus missionaries, we receive the same burden, the same calling to nurture, to mentor, and to raise young people as leaders. And that's why, as every nation campus, eh, pupunta po talaga tayo sa campuses to look out for the students na para po matulungan natin sila. And of course, ultimately, ma-preach natin yung gospel sa kanila. And kahit today that we are fully online, we're making efforts para po makakonect tayo sa kanila. Diba? I know that this generation, uh, uh, I believe that mas gamay nila yung online, di ba? Mas gamay nila yung social medias. That's why tayo po, we're really exploring and doing our best on how we can connect with them. And talking about inheritance, we're going to look at this moment when Elisha as a double portion of spirit kay Elijah as an inheritance. This was the moment when uh, paalis na po si si ano pa nito si Elijah dahil kukunin na po siya ni God at uh, ina, tinanong niya si Elisha and the, here's the verse when they had when they had crossed Elijah said to Elisha as what I shall do for you before I am taken up from you and Elisha said please let there be a double portion of your spirit on me and he said you have asked a hard thing Yet, if you see me as I am being taken from you, it shall be, it shall be so for you. But if you do not see me, it shall not be so. And here we see that when Elijah asked Elisha, what was his request? Please let there be a double portion of your spirit on me. And talking about this double portion, it is the double portion of the mighty spirit of Elijah. Probably 
uh, Elisha saw and have witnessed and some things that have, he he has he have heard from he has heard from uh, the the uh, work of God the spirit of God is working on Elijah yung mga stories that how God provided through a raven stories of how uh, the fire fall down from heaven when he was challenged by the prophets of Baal stories of the unlimited provision when he was uh, living with a widow and the little boy diba yung mga stories din probably has been uh, passed on and some of uh, them has has been witnessed by by Elisha that's why he is confident to ask something uh, some, this re- a big request from from Elijah na gusto ko yung double portion of your spirit because i saw how the spirit of god work in you and through you and i believe that uh, when during the yung nag-succeed na po si Elisha as the next prophet yun po yung nangyari because Eli- before even he asked for this Elisha has been called as well to be a prophet already and this is a confirmation all the more that asking for for a double portion ng spirit ni Elijah and true enough after that is uh, the com- many commentaries said that the scripture records exactly twice ng miracles na perform ni Elisha kay Elijah and it's not uh, talking about compet- competition na mas ginalingan ni Elisha being the next generation of, of, of prophet but we're talking about the reality that something that the next generation inherits they will multiply it they will progress and they will even do greater than the previous one and uh, talking about the next generation today yan po yung totoo that kahit hindi po natin sabihin directly sa kanila or ito gawin mo ah or ito huwag mo gawin they will just do it and even do greater than us for example yung pamilya niyo po siguro ay may tinatagong recipe na nakakaalam lang po ay kayo talaga kunwari adobo nung una uh, from the older generation, from the previous generation, ang dagdag nyo lang po ay itlog. Diba? Kunwari, hindi po alam ng ibang tao yan. No? Na may secret recipe kayo na itlog. Diba? Na nilalagay sa adobo. At takanta kayo mga nakakatikip. Ba't ang sarap? Ano po ba yung secret recipe? Then, on the next generation, they will add something that it will make uh, more delicious pa. Diba? Na mas sumasarap pa yung puta. And not, and not just talking about with those uh, recipes but even in the character you will notice that the next generation something that they will mirror from their parents they will even do great for example some uh, uh, in, in talents diba? may, may, kung may pamilya po na magaling kumanta you will notice that the young people or the, the next generation after them will even do greater than them right because even without us teaching them they will reflect on it they will mirror what the previous generation is doing because that's the reality that our actions today affect our future and the future of the next generation kahit di po natin to talaga ituro directly sa kanila they are observing and listening to every words that we are saying to every action that we are doing that's why there's a sad story i i also ask permission from my family uh, family member or relative rather that she's going to a, a series of, of cycles of relationships or struggles in relationship and uh, she is married right now pero lagi niyang tanong uh, looking back at her past bakit ganun na naging resulta ng life niya but right now she's okay she surrendered her life to God but during the time that she was lost, lost, she was blaming her mom. Sabi niya, kaya nagkaganito buhay ko kasi ganun si mama. Iba-iba yung naging asawa niya. Hindi siya na contento sa buhay niya. Kung ano ang ginawa niya sa buhay. Sa, kung ano ang kasalanan ang ginawa niya. And probably you have heard this to many young people today. They're using this as a reason kung bakit ganito yung, ganito yung behavior nila. Because... Somehow, ganito din yung magulang na, ganito yung ginawa ng magulang namin eh. And we are just mirroring them. 
reality is that yes, our decisions are personal. We wala po tayo masisisi or the young people cannot blame anyone. But there's a great factor from the older of the previous generation, from the parents of these young people who's talking about us saying that kaya sila ganito, kaya ako ganito. May great factor po because they are looking at their role models. They are looking at the, not those examples na kahit hindi po sabihin directly sa kanila na wag mo to gawin ha. No. They have every reason to do it because they have they, they saw it. And right now, we know that generational curse is true, is real, and it can be passed on to the next generation. Kapag yung older generation has been keeping a habit of this kind of sin, don't be surprised that the next generation would even do greater sin than that. At nakakaiyak po isipin na ganun po yung mangyayari. But the good news is only the power of the, uh, the gospel, the message of the gospel can break that curse. That's why tayo po today, who are, those who are with us today, those who have heard and understand the gospel, we have the privilege and we are blessed to hear and experience the gospel because the curse has already been broken. At hindi na po curse ang ipapasa natin sa next generation. And it is the power and the message of the gospel. And we can treat this as the greatest inheritance that we can leave to the next generation, to our parents right now. Pasalamat po tayo sa Panginoon that we have heard and experienced and we have a relationship to God that this is something that we can leave to the next generation. One day, pag tinanong po tayo ng Pag tinanong na po yung anak nyo, kung ano po yung gusto, gusto nilang maiwan, gusto nyo maiwan sa kanila, we pray that they will ask for a double portion of spirit. And that spirit is the spirit of your fear of the Lord, fear from the Lord, the spirit of your understanding, the spirit of wisdom you, you got from God. Because this is, the power of the gospel that can change and transform the lives of our next generation, that can give hope and purpose to the next generation. That's why even as a church, we have our Every Nation campus, we have our kids' church as well, who's willing to collaborate with every campus and even with our parents here. Because ito po tayo sa church, we, we, we work hand in hand. To raise the to, to raise the future uh, leaders of our nation, to raise them in the ways of the Lord, and even kahit hindi wala pa po some of us wala pa po mga anak, we have every uh, efforts to to be used by God on how we can preach and deliver the gospel to the next generation. And our role as a church is crucial because tayo po being recipient of the gospel of the good news. Now we are we have the burden to pass it to the next generation. Because again, they will inherit what we have right now. So, next thing is a sad or a heartbreaking article which came out recently about the Filipino youth that 8 out of 10 Filipinos do not have a dream. Um, I should quote as well that this is from onenews.ph. We thank you from this source. This article says that these are the reasons bakit itong mga teenagers na to, this uh, study was conducted to 614 Filipino uh, teenagers in 54 provinces. And when they were asked, ano po ba yung pangarap ninyo? O ano ba yung direction mo? Their answer is indefinite or they are not sure. And these are the reasons. First is lack of conversation. And also, lack of role models there is limited perspective or it is limited opportunities and lastly is limited resources and it's the sad reality of the next generation nowadays we're now facing the third uh, season ng pagiging quarantine po na uh, balik na naman po sa uh, bahay 
right? Because of the surge, and probably it, the, you will hear the if you will if we will just hear the young people, uh, maybe they are saying na hi. Here we are again. Balik na naman tayo. Akala ko, ito na eh. Nakakalabas na kami. Nakikita ko ni mga kaibigan ko eh. Nagsisimula na ulit ako mangarap eh. But yet, parang, mabalik na lang. Akala ko makakapag face-to-face. Na magpa- makakapag face-to-face o class. Pero parang with what's happening right now, maybe our young people today, their dreams are being shattered again because of this, our situation. Because of being exposed as well in the problems of their homes. Dati, di ba, ang ambag lang po nila maghugas ng pinggan, ambag lang po nila mag, maglinis ng kanilang sariling kama, magwalis, doing the household chores. But right now, some of our young people today, they are now involved in the decision-making of their families. They are now involved in providing for their families. Sila mismo, burdened na rin sila kung paano sila makakatulong, makapag-provide sa pamilya. And now, the same question when you ask them, ano ba pangarap nila? Ano ba yung direction nila? Probably, hindi, hindi naman sa wala eh. Pero they are not sure now because of what's happening in their life. But you know what? Because God has given us the power, the message of the gospel, that only the power of the gospel can give them purpose, can give them life, can give meaning to their lives. That this is, that their dreams, their purpose is not dependent on what's happening right now. That the generation right now has their own battles. God is calling them to be world changers. God is calling them to be giant slayers of their generation right now. And through us, we can encourage them. We can Give them this hope, this good news that they are called by God to be world changers, to be um, to, to make a difference as young as they are. Right now, the reality is they are facing their own battles. And we should help them realize that that they have the that God will give them wisdom on how to face their own battles. And through us, uh, kami po mga campus missionary medyo confused nga po kami nasa previous po ba kayo na generation kasi kami po we're bridging the gap between uh, how we can work together hand in hand in reaching out to the next generation and also asking wisdom from the older generation paano po tayo magtutulungan in advancing the kingdom of God because we believe that this next this the young people the promise of God still at hand in their lives and today as we pray for the young people leaving this question to ponder when a young person asks you today to give him or her a double portion of our spirit what do you think they will receive and our prayer is that it will be a spirit of our fear from the Lord, spirit of our wisdom that we receive from God, spirit of understanding of the gospel, spirit of boldness and courage to preach the gospel. Again, these young people are looking at us and listening to us right now. And whatever we are doing, it will affect them. And it will be a great factor in their lives in the future. Today as we pray, if you have a young, for our parents, please invite your sons or your daughter, your children. Go ahead and lay your hands upon them. Kung wala po, uh, we ask if you know a young people, a young person, you want to pray for and receive the promise God has for them, go ahead, tag them in the comment section as we pray for them. Lord, right now, we come to you giving thanks for we have received the greatest inheritance, which is the message of the gospel. We have received 
greatest inheritance with which is you Jesus and right now as you continue to transform us to use us but we also pray that this faith this message of the gospel will be passed on to the next generation the young people that we're laying hands with right now we pray lord that they will receive a double portion of spirit a spirit that came from you salamat panginoon for this will not just be about blessings that you will multiply the blessing of the next of these young people that you will multiply the skills of these young people that you will multiply the wisdom that they have right now but all the more you will multiply panginoon the faith that they have right now to our children more than securing them with with their future in education, more than securing them in their future in finances, securing them with their own homes, securing them with, with their uh, work after their graduation. We believe that what they need right now is to know that only their relationship with you, Jesus, can give them life and purpose. Salamat Panginoon, for we will not worry that these young people today, that being tagged on the comment section, that these young people that we are thinking of today, we are now breaking the curse, Lord, but they will not inherit the sin, Panginoon, but they will inherit the power, the spirit of boldness, the spirit of courage, the spirit that will be coming from you, Panginoon. Salamat, Panginoon. For as young as they are, Lord, they will realize and understand the message of the gospel. That you love them, you care for them, and you died for them. Lord, and to us, Panginoon, if you are an older generation or you think you're a kuya or you're an ate or you're a role model to someone go ahead put your hand in your heart as we pray that you will use us as a vessel panginoon to be christ like panginoon to be an example panginoon to to the younger ones lord may we be aware lord that every actions lord that we are doing panginoon that every words that we are uttering panginoon it will affect the next generation that's why help us lord to always speak life to these young people to always be an example of leadership of integrity of faith and excellence lord they are looking at us but as they look at us panginoon hindi hindi yung kami ang makikita but Ikaw, Jesus, yung makikita nila because you are in our hearts, Panginoon. You are in our lives. Salamat, Panginoon, for you will use us as a great example in the lives of the next generation, in the lives of our, of our heart, for the parents of the lives of their children. Salamat, Panginoon, for you will continue to use our church moving in our calling to reach out to the next generation, to preach the gospel to them and to raise them as the future disciple-makers of this nation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. We will continue to pray for the, for the next generation, for the campuses. Neil? Right. Thank you, Coach Doyle. Thank you for reminding us that the best inheritance that we will pass to the next generation is the gospel. Let's continue to change the campus and change the world. Church, before we pray for our prayer points, uh, we will pray for uh, the prayer requests at the live stream. And, and thank you for responding. Let's pray for, uh, we will pray for uh, Ms. Des Garcia. Let's pray. 
Uh, Lord, I pray for Ms. Destor, God. I pray, Lord, that more clients to our God, yung kanyang pinag-pray. I pray, Lord, that you will give him, give her, Lord, ability to produce wealth. And Lord, thank you for assuring her, Lord God, that you are the one who will provide for them. You are the one, Lord God, who will, who will open the floodgates of blessing, Lord God. Lord, maraming salamat po sa buhay ni Ate Des. Lord, I pray for Lian and Sete, Lord. I pray, Lord, for um, wisdom, Lord God, and understanding of who you are, Lord, in her life. Lord, I pray that you will continue to reveal yourself to her and make her, Lord, beautiful, Lord God, in your eyes. I pray, Lord, that whatever, Lord God, that she is asking for prayer, God, I pray that you will always um, approve this, Lord God, or grant this, Lord God. Lord, thank you for allowing her, Lord God, to worship you and to honor you in everything that she does. She does. Lord, I pray also for Bueno Jews Divine Lord. I pray for her husband, Lord God, her husband promotion, Lord. Lord, thank you for your promise, Lord. Lord, right now, we are claiming promotion upon promotion, Lord. Lord, I know, God, that, that despite of the situation that we are facing, Lord, you are the one who will provide you, you are the one who will make things possible, God. Lord, maraming salamat po in Jesus' name. And Lord, we also pray, Lord, for the people who are sick right now. Lord, I pray for fast recovery and healing, God. Lord, I know, Lord, that, that um, you will, you, you, your desire is to heal us, Lord. Your desire is to bless us, God. Lord, you said in your word, Lord, that if we have uh, faith like, like uh, Master Seed, Lord God, Lord, we can move the man. Lord, we have faith, Lord God. Lord, we have faith that you will heal every disease as God. You will heal every virus, Lord God. You will take it away, God. And you will give them, Lord God, a healthy body, Lord. Lord, maraming salamat po. And Lord, I pray, Lord, for John Manuel Francis, Lord God. Lord, I pray for peace, Lord God, that will help him, Lord God, to understand everything, Lord. Maybe, Lord, naguguluhan siya, Lord, or hindi alam yung mga mga bagay, Lord, or maraming gumugulo sa kanya, Lord. I pray that you will give him peace, Lord God. That will transcend everything, God. Lord, thank you for your promises, Lord. Lord, we believe that, that, that you are faithful, Lord. You are powerful, Lord. And nothing is impossible with you. Lord, maraming, maraming salamat po. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And in church today we will pray for our prayer points here are our prayer point number one students seeking god pray that as students deal with the effect of the pandemic in their lives families and generation they will devote their lives to god his word and prayer pray that they will not stray from god's teaching let's take a minute to pray for this prayer point. Amen. Lord, we pray, Lord, for the student, Lord God, that they will seek you, Lord. Lord, you said in your word in Jeremiah 29, 13, Lord, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your hearts. Lord, I pray that you will purify every heart of the students right now, God. Lord, I pray, Lord, that despite of this pandemic that you are facing, trouble in family, Lord, or hindi na, Lord, Lord, hindi namin alam yung mangyayari kinabukasan. Lord, I pray that all the more we will seek you, God. Lord, I pray that you will give us, Lord God, a passion, Lord God, a heart, Lord God, to seek you more. And Lord, I pray that this generation, Lord God, I pray, Lord, that they will devote their lives to you, Lord. Lord, your word 
ito yung magiging ilaw nila, Lord. And your word, Lord God, will lighten up, Lord God, the situation that they're facing. Lord, I pray that this time, Lord God, maybe lockdown po kami, Lord, or, or, or Lord, hindi kami makalabas ng bahay because of sa, sa age namin, Lord. Lord, I pray that you will use this time, Lord, na mas makilala ka pa namin. You will use this time, God, that we will continue, Lord God, to seek your will, God, and to seek you, Lord. Lord, I pray that we will we will continue, Lord God, to have, Lord, yung hunger sa puso namin, Lord, to seek you, Lord, and to, 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 to know you more. Lord, I pray that you will open the, the heart of every student right now in their mind, Lord God, as they come to you. Lord, we thank you, we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. We'll be continuing praying for our second prayer point. We will be praying for leading by example to our word changer out there. We want to pray for those student leaders that they would honor God in everything that they do. That they will, yung leadership, faith, integrity, excellence sa heart nila would really build up and it would be consistent with good conscience. And also, we will pray that they will access their spiritual gift to minister to people as well. You have one minute to pray for this. Church, it says in 1 Timothy 4.12, Let no one despise you of, for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. This is our prayer declaration today. That God, that they will never think twice. God. They're still young, but no God. You will use them as young as they are to preach the gospel, to set example to believers, to set examples to those who are lost. You will use their mouth as a mouthpiece of the gospel, that they will, that they will show faith, they will see change life upon them, Lord. They will show good conduct that as they walk through, they will have the confidence to walk with you that they will never conform on the pattern of this world. And they will show genuine love that is found in you, Jesus. That they may see faith, faith alone, that they will hold on to the relationship with Jesus Christ. And Lord, they will show purity in their hearts. Na matatakot sila sa kasalanan at ang hahawakan nila yung bawat salita mo. Patuloy mong bagoy ng kanilang puso. Again, that they, they will never think twice. They have to choose Jesus Christ. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And now we will pray for future leaders of our nation. Pray, pray for the next generation of leaders to be discipled and ask God for great harvest. Pray that they will be passionate about declaring and demonstrating the gospel, empowered by the Spirit, and unhindered in teaching others about transforming, about the transforming love of Christ. Let's have a minute to pray for this.
Yes, Lord, if, if you are a next generation or if you are with a next generation, claim this, claim this with me. Um, Father, as you said in your word in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Lord, we believe that it takes a generation to change a nation. And Lord, the next generation now will be the future leaders of our nation. This is their Jerusalem, their Judea. I declare that you are molding them right now, God, to be godly, God-fearing, Christ-centered. Use their platforms wherever they may be. Uh, may they be this an avenue to share the gospel in their school, social media, in their houses. Lord, I pray that you give them this burden, Lord, that every people that they meet, their friends, their classmates, their teachers, that people needs Jesus as well, Lord God, and give them that burning passion, Lord God. And right now, you are using them, Lord God. Ngayon pa lang, they, are, they are already leaders, Lord. You have set them apart. They just need to claim this as well. Claim this in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. May this reflect in your heart sa isip sa salita at sa gawa thank you god in jesus name in jesus name amen we agree with all those prayers and uh, we will continue to pray for the campus and right now we will lift up the parents educators and um church members who are the shapers of the next generation you know church we don't have to be a campus missionary to be able to lead and shame the next generation. Let's pray for every parent, guardian, and educator that they will seek, we will all actually seek wisdom in raising the next generation. That we will all be an example of faith, uh, love, and compassion that every member of this church will find and seek opportunity to invest in the lives in, of uh, in the lives of shaping the next generation. We will not find an excuse, but we will find an opportunity to really pass on the audacious kind of faith and boldness to preach and demonstrate the gospel. We will have one minute to pray for this prayer point. As we pray, let me just read to us. This is a familiar verse in Proverbs 22, verse 6. I'll be reading in the uh, Amplified Version. It says here, Train up a child in the way he should go, teaching him to seek God's wisdom and will for his abilities and talents. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Lord, we pray, God, we're lifting up our hands, Lord, that you will continue to remind us of your goodness and grace, Lord, even during this time. Even if it's uh, difficult, Lord God, even, even if there are a lot of challenges, we will continue to anchor our faith in you. So that through this, this kind of faith will be an inspiration to the next generation. Now, Lord, yung kaninang ni Doyle about uh, young people who are 
no longer dreaming. God, they will, uh, the faith, our faith, Lord God, as the um, generation that is ahead, will really be an inspiration to them na, to continue on, to press on, even if the challenges are intimidating, even if the giants are intimidating. But we pray for our generation, Lord God, kami mga nauna, Lord God, that we will seek opportunity to lead and train our next generation. Na, na hindi kami makufrustrate, na hindi kami mapapagod, God, hindi kami pibitaw, Lord, in in doing this. It, but it will, all the challenges that we're facing, it will move us to be more passionate, more passionate in training and leading them. We will see that these next generation, these young people today, they will be the next leaders. So we will invest all the more our time, our patience, and share them our faith so that we can pass it on. We pray for more partnership between campuses and the church and even the families, Lord God, na kasama namin dito sa Crescent Avenue. We pray, Lord, that more parents will connect their young people to, to the church, Lord God, that they may be trained in God's wisdom and will. Indeed, Lord, it's really, it really takes a, a community to, to raise a generation. Lord, help us that even through the challenges, even if mahirap, Lord God, we will speak blessing and not curse towards the next generation. Blessing and not curse to ipapasa namin, Lord. Thank you, God. We honor you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, as your word says, Lord, that even youth grow tired and weary, young man would fall and stumble, but they who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall rise up like wings on eagles, Lord. Let this be, Father God, our battle cry, Father, that we will teach the next generation, the young people, Lord, those in the campuses, Father, to know how to wait in the Lord, that their strength will be renewed. There may be some, some young people who are, are stressed out, Lord, because of this online platform. The school that's that's having their online, Lord, they may be having some mental health crisis, God, relational um, crisis, Father God. Lord, teach us to reach them out and raise them up, Father God, that, we, that they will understand how it is to wait on the Lord and that let their strength be renewed. We lift up to you, Lord God, every name, Lord God, that was mentioned here, Lord, in our chat box, God, from Vivi to Harvey to Susie, Lord, everyone's names, Lord God, mentioned here, Sylvia, Kathy, um, Ethel, Lord, Claudine, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, each of this young person, Lord God, they have a destiny in you, Lord. Would you help us as the older generation, Lord God, to be the ones reaching out to them and bringing them to a knowledge of Jesus Christ. Whether this would be in our homes, Lord, or whether they are our nephews or nieces or, or our, our neighbors, Lord God. Father, give us the heart to raise the next generation, Father God. Lord, we are thankful that you've given us, Lord. You've added us in this movement, in this church, in victory, Lord God, where every nation campus, God, is our battle cry, Lord. We believe so much, God, that here in victory, the next generation of leaders, Lord God, are in the campuses. They are studying, Lord God. They are in the online platform, Lord. So, God, give us the grace to reach out to them, Lord. Give us the grace, Father God, to... um. To, to be the ones, Father, discipling them as future leaders of our nation, Lord. Whether that would be in business, in government, in, in, in banking, in the corporate world, or whether they would be um, becoming missionaries, Lord, or pastors. Lord, whatever it is, God, that you have um, destined for them to do, we declare this, God. Greatness is going to be their destiny, Lord. And Lord, we also lift up to you, God every nation campus, our ministry arm for the next generation. Today, Lord God, we pray that you will grant wisdom, guidance, strength to be upon each one of our campus missionaries, Father God, as they continue, Lord God, to reach out to the, 
the students in the campuses, Lord. Lord, give them the wisdom. Give them creativity, Father God. Even though we are they are challenged with a with a with the online platform, God, give them creativity to reach out to them, Lord. I pray, Father God, that each one of these of our campus missionaries, Lord, that they will be courageous, God, and skilled, Lord, to um to uh, to to to, to uh, properly reach out to them, Father God. Each each of them uniquely unique ways, Lord, of reaching out to them. I'm also interceding, God, that there may be, Father God, some of those people listening here right now that you have a call to be a campus missionary. I am praying to you right now, the Lord is actually giving you that desire to be a campus missionary. I am praying that God is going to be the one stirring up your heart and that you will answer the call of God for the next generation. We are praying, Father God, for courage and skill, Lord, to those people who may sense in their heart, God, that they have a call to be a campus missionary May you be with them, God, because we believe, Lord, in every nation, um, Quezon Avenue and every nation campus ministry in Anonas, Lord. We are believing that there will be two to three campus missionaries, Father, that we will be raising up for the year, Lord, that they will be making an impact, God, in the campus ministry. Thank you for this, Lord. In fact, you know what? If you know and you sense that maybe God is telling you that you may, you, you have a call to be a full-time campus missionary. You know, at the end of this, you just message um, our campus director, Doyle Canlas, or any one of our campus missionaries um, that you've seen, Neil, there is Maita, there's Chara, and they will be helping you, you know, navigate through your calling in life. So, Lord God, each of these campus missionaries that we have, Father, are, 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 are professionals, Lord. They are college degree holders, Lord. Before they even step into campus ministry full-time, Father, Lord, they are working professionals, God. And they heard the call to become a full-time campus missionary, Lord. So that's why we commit them into your grace right now, Father. I know, God, that even if they're, they're reaching the campus, Lord, they're also helping us, God, in the local church. Billy, Father God, is heading our kids' ministry. There's April, Lord God, who's helping us in the worship service. There's Doyle, who's our campus director, is also helping us in the worship services. There is Shara, who's also helping us administrate our worship services. There's Neil, who's church planting and birthing our, our congregation, a campus ministry in Anona. And so it is with, with Lawrence. These are the men and the women that I want to commit to you right now. Pray for them. They need our prayers. They need to be partnered in with our prayers. And they also need to be partnered with our finances. These men and women got the call from God to be a full-time missionary in the campuses. So if you're here and listening and you know that God is telling you, to give and partner with them as campus missionary partners. You are going to be given a, a, a QR code or a link and that you are going to be, um, I'm telling God, Lord, I want to partner, God. I want to be part of what you are doing in the campus ministry. Lord, you are blessing me so much, Father, and therefore, God, I know that I am called to be a channel of blessing. You know what, church, even if you may not have time to go to the campuses, these are your representatives, our campus missionaries, and they will give you exciting reports on what the Lord is doing in the campuses. And together, as an older generation, we want to partner with them to be able to reach out to the young generation. So, Father, we commit to you all of our campus missionaries. We are believing, Father God, that greater things, Lord, will be in store for them. We are believing, Lord, that you will increase their partnership base, Lord. We are believing, Father God, that you will raise up, even in this a prayer meeting, Lord God, Lord, people who will partner with them financially, Father. Lord, we believe that the next generation, Father, will be raised up in a godly way and they will come to know you, Father, in a personal way and that they will be, as, as we all believe, giant slayers, world changers. Every nation campus, Father God, will stand strong in our church in Victory, Quezon Avenue and the future church plant in Cubao and Anonas. 
Maraming maraming pong salamat in this older generation. I'm part of Generation X, God. We have seen you move, Lord God. So therefore, it is our responsibility to reach out to these young people that they too would see the powerful move of the Holy Spirit in their generation. Lord, mabuhay ka, Lord God, sa buhay ng mga kabataan ito. Ang lahat pong ito ay tinataas namin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Let's just worship the Lord right now. Jesus. Truly God, that may your kingdom come, may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, thank you so much for everything. Church, a few announcements before we end. So tomorrow po at 12 noon, we will have our breakthrough yan, sa ating um, um, Facebook page po. Yan, 12 noon. But, and 6 p.m. po for our breakthrough nights, it will be via Zoom. We will be sending our link on our Facebook page. Well, lastly, we have a breakthrough wall. And you can scan this QR code that being flashed on our screen and or visit the, the link to our comment section. Yeah. And as we end, church, may you receive the Lord's blessing. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. Lord Jesus, this is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray, and everyone will say, Amen and Amen. Day 4! God bless everyone! <laughs>